Hello and welcome. Thank you for tuning in. I am grateful that you're here and for everything. My name is Bukhari and this is a 3D in CSS3 project. And this is video number one. And in this video, we will be learning how to rotate in the Y axis. So let's get started. I'm opening my favorite code editor Coda and this is a completely blank page let's inject some HTML structure and there it is let's bring the preview window aside let's make the font bigger so that you can see clearly okay I think it's big enough let's give the page a title so 3d in CSS3 rotate y axis so this video is about that save the file in the desktop rotate y axis html save and we're set okay so before i start coding i need to share with you guys that some information about the CSS 3D transformation which is very important so if you learn the technique if you if you learn the technique of how to implement 3D effects in 3, CSS 3 you will be able to create amazing user experiences trust me on this and I'm gonna share with you exactly that okay so the let's build and talk shall we so in the body we're gonna have a section and we're gonna give it a class called container and within this containers section we're gonna have another section called inner whatever you can write anything any name inner box or inner just inner for now and basically what we have here is that we have two levels of um, sections right so this is important basically the 3d works in two levels if you want to apply any 3d effect in any of the web project or any element any item in the web page you need to have two um, sections or elements two levels of elements tags in there okay so you will have a container tag is the parent and inner tag is the child of the container okay so this is the idea so you need to have this okay so basically we have here is two tags one within another okay so in the container tag we have the inner section tag that's it so let's style it and find out how it works so let's style the first change the body color to light gray so first keep work on the container class so we're gonna give it a width um, 300 pixels height is going to be 300 as well and display is going to be block and then position will be relative because this will be the parent of the inner class right so also we need to give it a background color gold so that we can see and we need to apply a margin on this so margin is going to be 250 pixels from the top bottom and auto from the left right okay all right save okay so this is this container class is basically the parent of the inner class okay so this is important all right so in the container class okay so let's style the inner class but first before that we need to uh, i need to apply some border in there so border 10 pixel solid 
golden rod a darker version of the golden color save it all right looking good let's work on this inner class so we have the inner class in there we're gonna have a width of 100 percent height is going to be 100 percent so that it takes all of these spaces in here okay so it will also have a display block and then position will be absolute because we want our inner section to be the child of this container section right and when we put absolute property and value we need to put a top bottom left right value in there so in this case we're gonna have we're gonna put only top and left value and that will do the job all right also we need to give the uh, in our element a background color so that we can see background color is white all right okay you see that all right let's save the file okay so far so good okay now this is the important part okay so in the container tag in the container section we need to give this value it's called perspective and some number okay no pixel no nothing just number 800 seems to be the right angle the perspective view perspective view of the that's the this number defines the angle of the view okay so as we move on I'll explain more all right so in the container element we must put the perspective property and value otherwise otherwise it's not gonna act like 3d okay all right and in the second level element in the inner section which is the child of the container so in the parent tag we put the perspective property and value and in the child element which is inner class we need to add the this class transform style preserve 3d and that's it let's save it okay now we just we saved it okay so this is the important part so if you want to apply any effect in the container you need to add the perspective value in there property and value and the and within the container tag if you want to have another items in there you need to add these transform style preserve 3d property and value so that we, you can animate those elements in three dimension okay so that's the concept so there it is so now we need to put this in action we need to see something happening here okay so to do that in the so let's 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 I, I want to go slow with this because I want you to learn this technique and if you do you will be able to create amazing user experiences for your clients and web projects so important and let's also take this comment tag in there and put it in here so these two are important parent and child okay in the parent section you're gonna have perspective property and value and the child element we need to have this transformation transform style preserve 3d value property and value and that's it and now we're gonna animate it right so to do that we're gonna have a, a transition um basically yeah okay so let's transform we need to transform it right so rotate y dimension so if you put zero then you don't you, you don't need to put anything else in there no degree no nothing no pixel zero is zero okay so we want to keep it that way so we are gonna apply transform y is zero degree okay so far so good now we want to add the animation property so that we can animate and see how it's working so animate animation animate I'm gonna give it a name called animate okay you can put any name in here okay so animate three seconds linear fashion is the easy easing effect so the first the this is the short hand version so animate animation animate three seconds then the easing effect linear and we want it to animate non-stop so infinite and that's it 
and now just after that we're gonna have a keyframe at key frames and we're gonna hook this up animate name in these keyframes and then curly brackets and within here we're gonna add just these two and we're gonna grab this and paste it in here and we're gonna add a degree in there zero degree we want it to rotate in 360 degree and there it is and if you put minus 360 degree it, it's gonna do the opposite rotation all right so the perspective now the thing is done so the concept is clear I hope so within the container you need to have two levels of uh, containers right one should be the parent and another would be the child so it should stay in within the container or whatever name you like you just just keep it this way okay and then it's gonna work everything is gonna work it should be all right so the perspective value the more the value is the less the perspective view is see so i put 1800 so it look it looks less 3d so if i put 800 it looks reasonably good if i put like uh, 300 it's gonna do the dramatical effect in here okay so 200 it's gonna be more it feels like it is rotating in front of your face or eye okay so the perspective value has this effect okay so it, it you need to be aware of this however you want it so if you want to go crazy it's totally your choice and if you want to be okay then 800 seems to be the right number okay in the perspective perspective all right so this is video number one where we wanted to i wanted to share with you how the y rotate rotate y axis works and there it is so i hope you like it and this is only the code required for this okay and we will be building on this code in the next one okay so there you go so uh, yes i hope you learned something and if you do please do share with others i'll catch you in the next video where we will be working on rotating x axis take care bye